Good morning. It's 8.20. I'm getting off to a leisurely start. Um, leaving the Springer Mountain Shelter, heading north towards Neal's Gap. Hoping to do about 13 or 14 today. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Last night it was pretty crazy windy. We had a, a bunch of rain too. A lot of stuff fell down on top of the shelter. So it was nice to have a solid roof. Um, I chose not to be in my tent last night. Well, because two reasons. One, I thought it'd be cool to be in the first shelter, but also the tent sites that were left had tree branches I wasn't comfortable with. So anyway, for two reasons, I stayed there and was really happy. And then this morning, I didn't have to clean up a muddy tent. So that was kind of cool. We made it to the parking lot where you can get dropped off at uh, Springer Mountain to go up to the shelter. It's about a mile up. The Benton Mackay Trail is about three quarters of a mile up. That's a different trail that parallels the AT for uh, all the way into the Smokies. And as you can see, we've got a lot of fog today. A lot last night, almost got lost going to Privy. <laughs> Rhododendrons. The tree tunnel, so I call them tunnel dendrons. <laughs> Hey friends, we made it to Long Creek Falls. We've gone about five, five and a half miles from Springer Shelter today. And uh, my feet are actually hot. It's really hot today, so I'm gonna soak my feet. I might even get in. This is looks really tempting. All right, it feels really good. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Hi friends, we're going all in on the 18th. I want to thank my hiker friend Noah for videoing me in the waterfall. Thank you very much. Why did I jump into icy cold water like that? Because I wanted to communicate that I'm all in on the AT. I'm holding back nothing. I'm going to try to come out of this whole hike a different person. And uh, if I'm cold at night, just remind me, hey, what about that waterfall? And I'll be like, oh yeah, I guess it's a little warmer than that. I came into this hike feeling like I wish I had done a lot of things differently in life. As a husband, as a father, as a professional, just as a person. So I'm kind of washing it all away in this waterfall baptism. And I am gonna be open to being changed. So please pray for me. I just saw the light. Check this out. Looks like an emergency shelter. I believe that's Hawk Mountain. Just came down from the shelter there and then saw an army helicopter flying through this valley. It was really cool. It's almost um, three o'clock. I've still got like five miles to go. So I'm gonna have to kind of focus here. I'm trying to get to Justice Creek and get there early enough to soak my feet and set up camp and eat and relax and all that. So tomorrow will be a shorter day, probably about 12 miles to Gerard Gap. Today's going to end up being like 14, 15 with all the side trips. And then the next day will be uh, five miles out over Blood Mountain down to Neil's Gap and then see how far we can get from there. I hear the helicopter. Up 
the first trail magic, Max Forrester. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's our pleasure, and I think you're gonna make it. Thank you. It's almost seven o'clock. Just barely found a campsite and got this tent up. And I was just spreading out the food, seeing what I've got left, and gonna go um, hang the Ursac. 14 miles on the trail, plus probably another mile of those side trails. Um, strategic error on my part, going down to, I think it was the Hawk Mountain shelter that water source was about like another mile away. Should just got it right off the trail. Oh well. So since we got 14 miles in today, tomorrow we only have to do about, I think 11. We're going to stop just before Gerard Gap and uh, camp there. Uh, sounds like that's a good place. And then the next day we'll hike over Blood Mountain and down to Neil's Gap and get resupply.